Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I've got a little musical game for you. Uh, learning voice leading can be challenging, but it really can be boiled down to two moves. You've got two moves on this board game. What's voice leading? It's simple. As you move from one chord to another, it's best if the voices move smoothly. And this goes back in history to when, you know, you had actual voices. And if you're singing, it's a lot easier to go from C to D than from C to A flat. Uh, it's not such a big deal if you're playing bar chords on the guitar, you just slip around, but voice leading is a fundamental thing. I'll show you what I mean. Just a very simple diatonic progression like C, G, E minor, F is really blocky when I play it like that. But if I voice lead it, C, G, E minor, F, it's suddenly beautiful and actually creates a little melody, which you can see on the top. And that melody catches our ear. It's terrific. The truth is there's a number of ways to solve that problem. C, G, E minor, F, I'm gonna go up. C, G, E minor, F. Suddenly I've got a whole thing happening, right? All right, here's our board game. You got a three note chord. Each voice may either stay put or move only by a step. Each voice, three of them, may either stay put or move only by a step. You can get anywhere you wanna go. C, I'm gonna play roots in the left hand just to ground it. And by the way, roots move freely. C, A flat. Why not, right? E. E minor, A7, everything moves by a step, D minor, B flat, E flat minor, G flat major, G flat major 7, G flat 7, B minor, oh, this is beautiful, G major seven, G minor, G seven, C. I'm just gonna play that and we'll talk about it. The roots help us ground things, but you can freely move almost anywhere by simply tweaking one or two notes just by a step. Seventh chords are possible by creating little diminished things on the top and adding different roots. So we actually can have functional harmony, although the first three were completely just chromatic median motion. I love modal interchange where something was major and then it you know, becomes minor or diminished. Beautiful. Different root, same three notes on top. Major becomes minor, becomes dominant, and resolves to C. It's very plain when played that way, but it could be quite beautiful if performed, for instance, with uh, arpeggios.
it, it might be fun using kind of an epic sort of chunky rhythm, right? So. So this simple board game, <clears throat> each voice may only move by a step or not at all, will get you really professional results with two simple rules, two simple moves. You've got two moves, and one of them isn't a move. You can either stay put or move by a step. I really think that's what it kind of all comes down to. Put a melody over the top, add a fun rhythm. Bob's your uncle, as my friend from London says. Well, listen, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe. Ding, you know, all the things we do on YouTube. I'll see you next time.